this down. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we're on. Um, so this afternoon, this is what I'm going to show you about the Jinghua Community Center. Once again, <coughs> I need my favorite friend's help, which is Google Map. I love to show you things in the map. So since we have street view, you can go to these places. Uh, easily. So let me show you Jinghua Community Center. Hainan Jinghua Community Center. Well, basically, after so many visits to so many communities, I believe now you already know the development of a community. Really, you, you cannot have a strategy that's working for everyone. It has to be customized. Of course, there will be important elements. There will be uh, things that you all have to do, but you still need to look into the situation of the area and look at the resource you have, look at the people you have, and then you will know what exactly are the needs and also the things you can do. Okay. So this is Taiwan again. Uh, we're in Taichung and the place we visited is Tainan. And this is also a city that's really close to the, to the ocean. So as you can see, yeah, the harbor is over here. Let me have a look at the harbor if I could. Yay, okay. So this is the harbor. I think that's the custom. Yeah, OK, it's the custom. I think uh, for those um, ships that's taking cargoes to the nation, of course, they are. They will be here. There's an airport. And there's the Chimei Museum that we're going to visit today. And also there are hospitals. Yes, there's so many places. So um, this place is very famous for its um, the, the culture. It's actually the main uh, spot of the place. Because um, I told you about Yifu, Elu San Mengjia. Well, and for those who forgot what that is, Ifu means the first um, developed city in Taiwan. After um, how does that? And uh, after the people from the mainland China arrived Taiwan, and they tried to develop this island, so they started up from uh, Tainan. And so it has another nickname, it's called Fu Chen. So Yi Fu means the Yi means one. So the first, the first developed place is called Fu Chen, which is Tainan City. And E Lu is Lu Gang City. And now it's only a small place, but, but still it's a part of Tai uh, Jianghua area. San Mengjia means the third developed city, it's Mengjia in Taipei as I mentioned earlier. OK, so. Now we we are going to the to Tainan Ifu, which is the first developed city and. In this city, you will see a lot of um, old buildings that established very long ago. For example, um, a very famous place for tourists called Shikan no? Shikan building and this place it looks like that and of course the government try to make this place a very interesting tourist spot so they put this here but of course you at the beginning it doesn't look like this and it means the the, the white sheep you see is it doesn't exist okay but the old-fashioned buildings that established more than 100 years ago is here and been fixed and is now standing 
tall in this place. Well, not that tall, but at least at that period of time. So a lot of people came here for picture and um, the in the previous story about well, not really story, the history about our original people that uh, Professor Xiao mentioned there was a general called uh, Chen Gong Yan. So he helped to help the uh, local people on the island to kick away um, uh, sailors and <coughs> government officials from Holland. OK, so they went back to Netherlands and after they lost the war, so uh, Mr. Jen, Chenko Jen, the general, just kicked them out and received their, so say, yeah, you surrender. OK, good. Get out of this place. Now it belongs to China. So at that, po uh, that period of time, this it was his office. This was his office at that time. So now if you go there, they, the government, the local government tried to remain how it looks like in the past over 100 years ago. So also there's a temple over here. So when you go there, that's this is what you're going to see when you enter the building. And also, of course, they try to remain how it looks like. And of course, there were another castle here, but um, um, during the war, it, it was teared down. So now they can only tell you the, the foundation of the castle, but now at least they can keep the, the temple and the the office. So if you're interested, I'm gonna post this thing here so you can see it. So Chikan. Okay, at that time there are two other buildings that's very famous in in this area. It's called Yizai Jingchen. Yizai. Um fortress or yeah, so basically, yeah, Yizai. Well, if you direct translate, Yizai, golden castle or city, but, but basically castle in a way at that time. So it's actually looks like this right now, but at that time, you still get to see a fortress. And so you have uh, the government official at that time, over a hundred years ago, um, yeah, is it was established in year 1874. And if people want to enter this island, they will have to um, go near this um, area and front the ship. And so um, a group of Navy troop will have to be here and use their cannons to aim at all possible enemies. So you have the cannons, you and there used to be more, of course, but now you only see what's left. Of course, that's not <laughs> what it was here. So yeah, this is the old cannons. And the reason you see trees because it, the uh, the level, the sea level actually went down, so the trees grew up later. But at that time, uh, I'm hundred percent sure that the, you don't see this grass and trees. It will be all, you know, uh, the beach, the oceans nearby. So they try to protect this place with the kind, these kind of structures, so people can still see the foundation of the fortress. Um, but now when you go there, it's only this. And it's interesting, I didn't know why, but the government actually allowed you to paddle a boat by the the river around this fortress. So, uh, yeah, to see a swan-shaped paddle boat here is kind of interesting. Uh, I never try it, 
if you really want, you can try it, but uh, <laughs> I don't know why, I just don't have a clue. Okay, so uh, sometimes the government will try to um, decorate it with and with flags and, and things, so uh, people will have this imaginary feeling that um, they went back to the ancient time where the army is still here guarding the city. Okay, that's the second one. Uh, and there's another one. Hmm, I suddenly forgot. I'm gonna find that out later. Okay, so anyway, so Jinghua Community Center is right here over uh, this area. So it's a city full of cultural resources and uh, history. So um, there are a lot of people investing their time and business in the um, tourist service, like, like providing things for the tourists. So what about the communities over here? How do they serve their people? So let's have a look at them. But let me show you where they are. Give me a second. Don't know why it doesn't come out. Try again. Ground view. Hmm. This is so weird. Okay. Yeah, okay. So they're here. So it has they they have a park. They're inside of a park. So Let's put a little guy over here so you can see. Okay, yeah, so this is Jinghua Community Center. It has a, yeah. Okay, it's here in this building. Uh, when I was there, I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that they provide car parks, so they let me park here. So, yes. OK, so that was the entrance. OK, so let's have a look at the interview. Um, if you don't hear it, please let me know. Type it and I'll, I'll try to find out what's wrong with the uh, machine if that happens. Oh, welcome to Jinhua community. Hey, Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Jinghua Community Center and, and visit us. Um, um, Zhao Xiong Huang, the uh, director of the community center. I, um, I just, uh, I just uh, entered this position uh, since this March. 呃，来接手这个理事长，因为我们金华社区是全国很多项属于很少数二或是属于的的优良社区。嗯，and uh, we are actually number one in many aspect um in the competition between communities. 呃，这里面有国际啊安全社区。So the safest community in Taiwan, uh, in, in the world, actually. Yeah. So the most uh, suitable uh, community for immigrants. The healthiest uh, community in, uh, the, in competition. So it's international certified. Oh, so I'm really proud to be a part of this community. So I would like to uh, contribute a little bit of me to this community. So we can upgrade this community to the next level. 
So good is not enough. We need to be better. We want to be number one in everything and every year. Um, so that requires help from uh Kun Chen Ke, who's the uh chief of village of this of this place, and also um teacher Liao in in the community to help out. And a lot of volunteers were willing to help, and especially they're aged um, above 70 and 80, but they're still willing. We are um, planning to keep on um, participating in competition between um, communities because um, uh, next year and we still have to and we will um, compete with other communities on uh, the safest community competition and the uh, um, most suitable community for immigrants competition. I think we're going to be number one again. Last of all, Okay, I, I think, you know, if I put this in a parable, I will look at us as a rice company. In one way, <laughs> our, our community is like the leaf outside of the rice dumpling in the Dragon Ball Festival. So the rice within, they were big and small, and that's the members of the community. And some. So some of the, the leaders in our or helpers they're like the uh, egg in it and also the, the meat inside of the uh, company. <laughs> so we all unite together, we bind ourselves together in one company. So all together and you put it in a sting and then that will be a really nice rice company. So, so these, these are the, the, the kids who are, are here that they are going to have the recorders uh, session. So Okay, but well, this is a good community, so we welcome you and and everyone who study in Asian University. Please come and visit us, so, because this is a good community for you to visit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Sure, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. So that's um, the very, very, very brief introduction. So um, I'm going to take you around in the community. Okay. <laughs> 不需要做太精致，因为大家都知道社区，大家就是我们有什么就贡献什么，所以其实没有关系的，谢谢你。Yeah, we I 
so it's a, in so hot the weather it's good for a, such a small kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, well, what's happening is um, the uh, the person who showed us away, so for some reason, uh, uh, the rule she wants to take is actually locked. So uh, she took us to a different route. Give us a second. The elderly who participate in the English class in the community, so uh, they are taught by. Uh, by things. Okay. Yes. She's from Taichung as well, oh. but to us, it's from the US in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, of course. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Stacy. Nice to meet you. I'm May. I'm May. I'm May. Nice to meet you. Hi. Candy. Nice to meet you. I'm Cherry. I'm Cherry. 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 Nice to meet you. Oh wow. Okay. It's a happy. Happy, yeah. okay. Because the happy because I hope you were mad is happy always. Yes. It's not a famous man because of Avengers. <laughs> it's our Amy. Amy. Amy, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. It's a beautiful mom. Anytime yes. you see him, just look yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. 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 Oh, I am young. I am young. Yeah. He's yeah. already 83 years old. Wow. Oh, yeah, you still look very young. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, nice to meet you. Susan. Susan. Susan, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, Tom. Tom. Tom, Tom, nice to meet you. How are you? How old are you? 86. 86. 86. Wow, I can't tell. I can't tell. It's good. 
so strong. Oh, All right. Oh, I'm Hero. I'm Hero. Hero, hi. Nice to meet you. I am Alice. Alice, Alice. Nice to meet you. Fine, thanks. Thank you. Hi. I'm Sam. Sam, Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. Hi. Good to know all of you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, what's your name? I'm Jameson. Jameson. Chief. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 90 years old this year. Oh, you're 90 years old now. Wow, can't tell. That's cool. Uh, wow. It's very, very cute and lovely. You know why? Yes. Sometimes because our, for example, I'm an English teacher here. Yes. And my class is on every Monday morning. Yes. And uh, sometimes people bring some boiled eggs. Yes. Because it get up very early, and the cooked eggs, besides, you will prepare some cookies. Yeah, to enjoy sharing with everyone here. Wow, so nice of you. Not only him, but also other classmates will bring love each other. Right. The reason why we say love each other, for example, if uh, someone at the mm -hmm. everyone will concern you mm -hmm. why you should not bring that. Yes. Yeah. So uh, maybe some will call you, mm -hmm. some will see in his talk. Yeah. So it's very good. Yeah. I think it's very good. Yes. It's very good. Yes. And uh, our our visa, yeah. Yeah. Uh, chief say, uh, uh, the yeah. chief of village. Yeah. Chief of village. Yes. And he said, we prefer to take care of this elder before they have in any case, for example, uh, um, if they can live happily every day, we believe they will keep their own life. And yeah. keep good yes. Yeah. Yes, I can okay. see that. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Huh? Um, Andy. You can call me Andy. Andy. Yes, Andy. Hi, I'm Dan. 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 Uh, I never thought of that. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's, that's been kind of funny. Take it. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Linda. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. I never thought of your name. <laughs> oh, wow. So they know how to make these. Um, Hi, this is Okay. I would like to briefly uh, introduce our community. Okay. No this problem. This community starts from 
from about uh, 1974. Mm, yeah, really... it's, uh, yeah, at that time, it's a uh, um, uh, school of the, like a, a printing uh, uh, pool uh, for, for fish printing. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, uh, because the reason to have this community, because we have an industrial zone not mm -hmm. far from here. Mm -hmm. So uh, the government uh, uh, build uh, some apartment uh, for these people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have here. But we start to have the lab in the Jinghua community, uh, started from about uh, 1988. We start to have this lab. And, uh, and we start from about uh, 2002. We start to get some award from government. Wow. Yeah. So it means that we have a, uh, we have a, a few working hard. Sure, <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 简单来介绍我们社区的一些特色。Let me introduce a feature of our community simply, uh, in, in brief. 那我们先看看我们社区的瀑布。Let's look at the waterfall we have in the community. Ah, okay. The artificial waterfall we have. 这些瀑布的作用,它是从生态池的 and uh, uh, this is the, the water from this uh, from a pond actually the eco pond actually being uh, taken here as the, the source of the fountain Okay. So floating water um, pouring into the pond can actually um, insert oxygen into the water, so it will be uh, healthier for the plants and uh, fish. Is, uh, is. So we can say that the, the happy the fish and the turtle here are happy. And oh. some visitor would like to ask me, teacher, why you can sure that uh, they are happy here? So that's the reason why we show them. For example, we have a tank inside here, a big tank, and then the oh. water from here, from here to oh, there. Wow. And then to it's, have a, I saw a, turtle. a hole. Yeah. So oh. make the oxygen from the water. And, uh, so oh, it's all connected. Okay, so so the this. I saw. So, yeah. I just saw a turtle, yeah. and where where did it go? Turtle. 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 Yeah, I saw a turtle just yeah, went past maybe. underneath, but I can't see it now. Yeah. Okay, so the water just came from the fountain underneath. Oh, this is vanilla. So it smells really nice. Can you try it? You so more and more. Touch it. Yeah. Touch it. Whoa, yeah, very it good. Smells good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. So good. Yes. Yeah, oh wow! Good. Yeah. Wow. Yes, that's what you can put in a dish. Mr. Wang keep the yeah lotus okay. and all of this kind. Oh. So, uh, you take care of the fish. Wow. Wow. Wow, so, 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 so,
Yeah, because um, uh, the water is so clean over here, so they actually have this momentum and just says, well, actually, as it's like an attraction site, yeah. and people would come here to take pictures. Yes. And they use water wisely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the circle is over there. Yeah. Hiding itself. Oh, it's hiding. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's over there. The waste from the from the turtle and the fish will actually go back in, so of course uh, it will be really nutritious to the plants. Oh, so it's actually very nutritional to the plants, yeah. uh, the, the fish's waste. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so uh, the water, <laughs> the water, like yeah, yeah, the, the, the hose actually can um, take the water and share this water from the four ponds over here. Number one, this is the, the pond with uh, fish, and that area is um, a place where you can uh, share the nutritious water with the plants and fish at the same place. And then the other two will be a place where you can share the nutritious water with uh, flowers and fish at the same time. So this is the vegetable we plant, that the, the vegetable you can eat. And now the nutritious water from the waste the fish and turtle is now taken here. So now that the with those uh, nutritious water that the vegetable we plant will be really uh, healthy and also edible. Oh, so so after uh, after the filter from the soil and the plants. So the water came out from this side. It's actually very clean. It's purified. Here you have filter system. Yeah, between there to here. We have a simple filter system. Wow. Because we have the solar power. Oh. Oh, the solar power energy. For the motor running. And then for here, you can see the water here. It's a pump. This motor and the pump here, and then yeah. you can see oh. here is water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now, because it absorbs the water, it goes through the system. Okay. Oh, so it's purified. Look. Oh, it's purified. Yeah. 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 Can be vegetable, can be flower, that depends on you like. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we are sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we can harvest from this forevermore because after we harvest it it's gonna grow again. So, because the, the water we use is really nutritious. Yes. Oh, wow. So, this is a cycle of the system that we're using. So, as you can see, the, the fish sways is actually uh, making the water very nutritious. And then it can be a fertilizer, and then the, it's going to help the growth of the vegetable, fruits, whatever the plant is flowers, then you can have clean water to 
go back to the cycle for fish. So the water at the end will be very pure, uh, purified and very clean. So that's the reason why we can say the fish uh, turtle here are happy because uh, they can enjoy clean water and the natural yes. environment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so because after you uh, purify it and you clean it, this process is going to take some water. So you need a more fountain from, the, from underneath to refill that gap. Oh, so this is Yihua Gongsheng. Right. Yihua Gongsheng. So as you can see, now uh, instead of vegetable, for this part, we use it for flowers. Right. And, and fish. Now, this one. This one is Wow. So, so the flowers we plant over here can be uh, sell to the uh, community members. If they want it, they can pay twenty dollars into the the box, and then they can take the flowers they they like. So the empty things you see over there, yeah, the, the, the empty spaces represent the flowers with sell, with that uh, it's sold. sold, that was sold, yeah. So that's a feature of our community as well. So why is this related to the long-term care system? Actually, the elders will love this place since they see so many green uh, plants and the flowers they like. So they're start, when they're studying things like this, and it's going to uh, sustain their, their health. Maybe even uh, dementia prevention. And uh, we would like, yeah, I would, I would like to emphasize that mm -hmm. uh, the, the reason we do this because uh, we are also talking about low carbonate. Yeah, because uh, there's uh, so much air pollution mm. on the world. Mm -hmm. So with this, uh, you can see all of this uh, is recycled. Mm. Not the only of this uh, water mm. and uh, all the time. And mm. also, and the floor, yeah, we are using uh, material recycling. Mm. Yeah, that's what we talk and uh, and then we would like to introduce a um, little farm. Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we have this uh, farm in free of Oh, wow. by Union Nations. Yeah. Okay, so so they uh, got certification from international organization and as a safe community. And so the Jinghua is the name of the community. This is Jinghua Community Center, okay. So that's why they have this okay. label over here. Not only for safety, but also for health care. Mm -hmm. And also for suitable, um, yeah, society, yeah. A good place for immigrants. Yeah. Oh, I'm just talking about the, for example, we have so many space. Yes. That could not use at this moment. So uh, we use a bigger space for mm -hmm. parking area. Yep. Because almost every place. Everywhere needs more space for parking, and for the smaller 
we we could uh, we, we make this uh, like a park, a corner park, pocket park. That depends on the size mm -hmm. of the land. And the next one is a simple farm. Yeah. And if you are resident of this, uh, uh, this community, you can print something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, this mama can take a break. That papa can this. And also, they are not friends for their own. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they will donate their seeds or own vegetables. Own vegetable and the to sharing with everyone. Oh, wow. uh, or sometimes uh, we have a cooking. Right. Yeah, in the uh, in our community, they can cooking and they share. Oh. Yeah. So that's easy. You can see that could be a same vegetable. That's because uh, this mother and that mother, maybe after their discussion, then with the to to plant the same one and. Uh, have a comparison, it could be, but sometimes it's just of a season, which is season like this lemon, and I don't know how to call it, but however, many visitors told us, as they know, this kind of fruit cannot be very big in Taiwan, but they can see very big. Yeah, we say maybe because we have more love. Yeah. In this community, <laughs> okay. if people who are watching this know what this plan is, please let us know. Yeah, yeah, I know really? it in Chinese, but oh. I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is chocolate. Yeah, I don't know the name in English, but like here, like here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So delicious. Thank you. So the ufa I have not seen, I have seen that different kind of the melon, small ones. I like this, uh, the tiny one. Yes. The small, the small one. Oh. What does a very big size for urban yeah. garden, yeah. to be honest? Garden. Yeah, because uh, yeah. normally a, a garden in the in a urban cities area is normally small because yeah. the, the price of the land is very expensive normally. Yes. Yeah. But the, the owner, yeah, donated. Wow. Yeah. So kind of in. Yes. Hi. Right. This is amazing. You got so it's many things. More than ten years. Wow. Oh. Ten years. He prefer to not donate. He's still. Yeah. If you donate it now, mango? the price goes higher. Mango. Yeah. Mango season. You can see mango. A beautiful mango. Oh, oh. wow! Mango tree. Mm -hmm. So good. So they they have activity every day. So it's good. Hey, we can say you can Yes. Oh, peace. Yes. Yeah. Not very big, but however. Because you planted it yourself, so yeah, of course. It will taste a lot better. And you. This? So they are from. Can I hit the QR code? Yeah. yeah. So they can get to see it with their own eyes, with the website you created. And guys, if you're seeing this, please, uh, if you want to know more, you can scan the QR code. Okay? Wow. Yeah, like a bird. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, and also like this leaf is uh, for uh, for traditional dumpling. Oh. Yeah. oh wow. Yeah. This is a waste picture from the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, kitchen waste, yes. Yes. Uh, so, yes, because of the fertilizer, yeah, yeah. it's a fertilizer. That's cool. Let's go. Let's stop. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Charge for that. However, wow. the other is kind. Yes. Let's sure This community uh, uh, have uh, about uh, two thousand, two thousand family. Oh. Have uh, about uh, six thousand residents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, before and uh, most of the industry here is for garment making. Mm -hmm. So uh, garment before the garment accessory, garment part. Yeah, this is one long area, but not now. Because, uh, they move to other place, and yes. uh, so it cannot see so many anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! Yeah, so close. This What's this word? Only this word. Oh, oh, okay. This is um, Taiwanese corn. It's, um, they, they actually have these place over here in, in this part to promote uh, Taiwanese language, the mm -hmm. local dialect. And then, so they will have points uh, on those plates and put it around the whole, whole park. So if take this one as example. This is from Mr. Fang's uh, point, Taiwanese point. As Taomo means um, hair, basically just hair. And saying, uh, oh, no matter which race you are, oops, no, no matter which race, oops, sorry, no matter which race you're from, um, your your skin color is white, yellow, black, or any color, they're all the prettiest hair in the world. So it means uh, we all equal, right? I don't know. No, 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 I mean, that's that's what it means. Okay. You said right, and I responded to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. we also have a station. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And, uh, we have a set garden around our volunteer. Yeah. Around here, and then uh, we have a garden for the night. Uh, the safety patrol, right? 
Ja. Sunday Shooting 啊, uh, this is a point about um, this place, and they call this park the self-seeking park. All right, so like you, you look into your heart like, when you come here. All right, so this, the point says uh, um, the heart of the spring comes to the, the heart, uh, the garden of self-seeking. Um, this uh, Jinghua community, we have the cutest old people. Um, the, the neighbors who care about each other and um, the chief of village who's always hardworking without seeking for uh, profits. And also when, when the winter comes, uh, we turn the buildings that's violating the, the construction rules into a park like this. We plant flowers and trees and we are inviting everyone who near, near, live nearby to visit this place. This is a good place for everyone to um, stroll, to walk around. And also, um, we also turn empty places into our car parks. And it's safe and it's clean. And so everyone can come here. And this, is, this unites our hearts all together. So this is the name of, of the garden. It's called Guanxin Garden. Guan, Guan, the direct translation is uh, Guan means sea, Xin means heart. So Yuan means garden. So sea heart garden, actually, that means uh, self-seeking. The garden of self-seeking. You look into your own heart. All right. So, so you can see the stone also calls the name. And then you have uh, all types of um recreational tools are for for the kids and for the elders in this park in most of our park we have this but you cannot see other place it's a dog, dog, dog toilet um, <laughs> okay yeah so so f with the dog's toilets you can make this place a cleaner place because a lot of people well, walk their dogs everywhere and allow their dog to poop wherever they, they want to. But they have a place for a dog's bathroom. I think that requires some kind of training. Sure. All right. So right, there's a second echo pump that we have, and that's the latest one we we just established. Once again. Yes. 
So once again, you see the same kind of system here. The uh, plants you know, purify the water, and the motor will uh, extract the water to the top of the fountain. And then, if the water is not enough, the the fountains underneath will fill the gap. Yeah, with the water. So once, so once again, the water comes in from the left-hand side, and then after the, these plants purify the water, it comes back from this uh, gray tube underneath to put the uh, clean water back to the power. So this is the latest one, and we're using the kind of system for it. Um, and besides, I would like to introduce this. Yes. It looks like a. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, it looks like a. Oh, oh, yeah, but it, it looks simple, but important and very helpful for our community. The reason is that we have the first two in our community park. At that time, just a very badly earthquake. And uh, we have no uh, water supply. But uh, fortunately, because we have this pump advice. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
所以呃，我们设计有几十户这个，很多很多。所以有一次我们台南大停水，很多社区都没有水可以用。对，啊，然后所以。Uh, guys, I noticed that um, we've been showing the uh, community center for such a long time. You really need a break. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have 10 minutes break. So we'll come back after that. Thank you so much. OK, guys, um, I hope you're OK with what I did just to wake everybody up, I will play something in the middle. I hope you like it. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. Thanks. OK, I'm going to continue the tour in the Jinghua Community Center. Thank you. OK, um, um, a few years ago, a few years ago, um, actually, the uh, there was an earthquake, very serious earthquake, and then no one has water because a lot of water supply, the pipes were broken by, by the earthquake. And later, but a lot of people see us with fountains here, so they can come here to get a, to fetch the water because uh, about 10 meters underground, it will be rainwater. And underneath, like 20 meters, will be the seawater, as we mentioned earlier, because this used to be underneath the ocean. So now we set out a lot of those fountains there, and it's extracting the water on 10 meters underneath. That will be the rainwater that purified by the land and also uh, the plants. Yes. So we're really lucky. We have the source. Oh wow. So they, they also invented their own ways to kill mosquitoes. And this is the 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 kind of um insect killer that we use. So the leader, uh, the chief of the village, uh, would like uh, them to introduce the a uh, mosquito killer that in, they invented. Okay, let's have a look at this. You can see so many mosquitoes stick onto the plate. Yeah. Uh, can you see a lot of mosquitoes? Yeah? There are all mosquitoes here. Wow. Okay, as you can see, this, this tool is very effective. I can see more than hundreds the mosquitoes stick onto it and die. Okay, as you can see, there, there are types of mosquitoes that's actually spreading disease and we caught them as well. Okay, we're actually trying our best to catch the mosquitoes which can a uh, spread out disease, a uh, ding, dengue fever. I think that's that's what I heard. Mm. So at the beginning, at the beginning, that's our first uh, prototype model, Mark One. 
<laughs> All right, so and then so for Mark one, it looks like this, and you got something to attract mosquitoes. 一百零四年，台南就是登革热大爆发。啊、uh, ，in 啊、uh, year nineteen fifteen， 啊 ，we have we have um mosquitoes and and the disease related to spread around whole Tainan. Yeah. 然后，我们跟那个国家卫生研究院就是合作，那时候全台南市只有我们社区合作，就是做第一代的。捕暖器、捕暖桶，这个哈、哦、就是让蚊子进来产卵，这产完卵之后，那个蚊子又飞走了，那我们是抓它的卵，看看那个卵的熟练度，那我们可以判定这个区域的蚊子的密度，那是那是要监测蚊子的密度。OK， 这是第一。So this is not specially catching the mosquitoes. We are actually catch catching the eggs from the mosquitoes. To to ensure uh the numbers of mosquitoes we have uh in this area. So if you have many of them, you will see a mosquito might concentrate in certain area by looking at the numbers of egg they lay in this uh bucket. So if you have so many buckets like this, and in this area, this at this corner, uh, you have more eggs in this bucket, then we will know. Oh, this area has more mosquitoes in concentrated in this area. So I was the person who started to do this. So I thought it was such a pity you you just collect their eggs instead of mosquito itself because they're gonna bite someone else later. So I try to catch mosquitoes as well later. In the second design. Mark two. Okay, on the Mark two, so you have this plate at the bottom, and then the, the mosquito will go in and lay eggs over here. 蚊子会在产卵，啊，然后产卵大概两天之后，那个卵会掉进去水里面，变成孑孓。Alright, so after two days it will become the baby and uh, um it will start to grow. 啊，变成孑孓，因为里边有药，有那个这里哈，这里有杀孑孓的药。And then of course we have medicine for that, so they will be killed at this stage. 那我们换下去之后，这个水里边有药，然后解决也死掉了，也会死掉了。Since we 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 drug it, so it died afterwards. 那那个蚊子蚊子产卵之后，它要飞走，它一定会在墙壁上休息，因为产卵会比较虚弱嘛，它要休息。啊，休息就会被粘住，粘住就粘在上面。After the female mosquito lay eggs and they will uh, it requires some strength, so the 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 mosquito will be tired, and actually they will have rest nearby, and then they will die and stick onto it, onto the wall. And, and, also, and also, there, there are disadvantages. For example, uh, the bucket can be, um, if you put it under the sun for such a long time, it can be broken and the water can dry out very quickly. So those are the problems. And it's too low. So if, if the water just um, dry out or just come out for any reason, then the mosquito will not come. So that's our mark two.
So um, so Mark three we use is this one. So we want to make it a lot bigger and also the the surface uh, mosquito gonna touch is gonna be a lot bigger. So you can uh, you can see the eggs. Okay, so you can see the eggs of the mosquitoes are here. All stick, stick onto this uh, white thing over here. There are eggs of the mosquitoes. You know how the mosquito flies? Okay. Um, so actually, you know, the mosquito doesn't fly like a helicopter, it goes straight up and down. So they will go against the wall. So when they do that, they will actually stick onto the wall before it even reaches bottom to lay eggs. So the other maybe 50% of them who lay successfully came to the bottom and lay eggs, after they come back up, they will be stick onto the plate again. So they, they have no way to run. So now later I will stick them and they'll die here. So we... Yeah. So to protect the elders, one of the um, thing we can do is to get rid of the mosquitoes. So if they don't have that kind of problem, we can take care of them because they might not get the disease related to mosquitoes. Yeah, and this idea is very advanced because uh, I actually read about this in Disneyland. They actually have a team catch mosquitoes, estimate their number, and finding the best tactic to kill them in the whole Disneyland. That, that's actually happened. Oh, I just said, so this is this 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 Oh, wow. Okay. So, so, wow. Well, so, so, uh, this uh, government official actually came and observed from our idea. So, so if you see it elsewhere, I, sh I can assure you that the idea came from this. The CDC, uh, the disease control um, department actually um, took the idea from us as well. And so everybody participating in this, so everybody cares about it. Guys, um, um, uh, according to what I say and share, uh, what I mentioned in the video was um, I really appreciate what they did for the elders because they say uh, to serve the elders, one of the most important thing is to uh, keep them away from disease. And one of the diseases. Um, 
the uh, disease that might spread out uh, out of the mosquito bite. And so they try the best to catch mosquitoes. And I told them that I appreciate the idea because you're following Disneyland. And I just gave you a link. Please have a look at what Disneyland did. And they actually have a team and to catch mosquitoes, to analyze the situation, um, the amount of numbers they, they found, and they will try their best to use all scientific ways to get rid of mosquitoes. So in the most magical place on Earth, they don't use the most magical ways to get rid of mosquitoes. They still do it in very scientific ways, and it's really helpful. So I even found their uh, video clip. So uh, you can have a look at this on here. So here. The second link over here. OK. So feel free to watch it later. Uh, now you have the link. You watch it whenever you like. OK, I'm going to continue to introduce the place. And now we are entering to the, um, the, the director of the community center. So he's going to say something and introduce the community for us. Uh, 因為他他以為我現在跟著這樣,好點。要不要我這邊我跟你。對,先去。Yeah, yeah, we have a drum. It's a, like drum a, a drum, like drum a drum that prays. Oh, and uh, these elders, they go, yeah, go out, take a bus and they're free bus and they go to see a temple. Yeah, they have a, they are practicing. Yeah, and uh, here is our house carry. Yeah, and uh, he, here is our team. And uh, here, what they do, and uh, we have a uh, yeah, music instrument that play, yeah. And here we have uh, uh, also a uh, combined with our local kindergarten and uh, different generation and uh, together, yeah. Uh, they are shepherd and uh, they serve some fish and feed this elder, yeah. and uh, yeah, they how they starting to use uh, the scissor and uh, pepper painting, for example. And uh, here is also combined with a uh, different uh, university or college. And uh, yeah, it's a visitor, foreign visitor to see us. Uh, 2019, we have uh, the, this officer from US to visit us. If I'm not mistaken, that's California, I guess. California? Yes. Okay. Yeah, from different states of the US. Oh, wow. Yeah, CDC. Uh, what Central Disease Control, CDC. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Now we have a activity not only combined with our local community, we also combine with a, a nearby community together. Yeah. So uh, do a domestic violence prevention um, promotion. Yeah. So they are producer from uh, police and uh, from different uh, uh, institution. So we we used to um, together 
we are working activity uh, together. Oh, wow. Yeah, here is our mail. Oh, so far. Uh, the Thailand mail. Oh, yeah. the Thailand mail. This is the latest one, right? So, yeah. It's, a, it's a from here, Mr. James, Dr. James. And here is from International and Consuming Food Association, like this. They visit that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, the uh, chief of the village is going to share with us the uh, PVT presentation they had on uh, community care practice. So there are some more photos. Oh, these activities don't run at the same time, so we cannot see them one by one, but um, we have so many pictures and in a PVT presentation, so let's wait for a minute. Used to working not only in the office but also at home a lot. <laughs> so, so he's very devoted to the development of community. Yeah, he's working already uh, 30 years for this community. Oh, yeah. It's not easy. Yes. Sure. The concept, the concept, before. Mm. Uh, before, when he is a young uh, teenage, he ever working for the air homes in Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So that's his kind of concept. This is today. We are in the University of Zhengong University. Ah, the young students come to our university to do a tour. So, 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 so
these two scholars proposed in the year 1999. So uh, the nursing department in Chanda University, they actually came to us and suspect us and have a look at the whole committee for one month to ensure that we are qualified to be called as um, healthy community. So they found a few things. Number one, a clean, safe um, environment, and which is really high quality. And number two, the ecosystem, sustainable ecosystem. And number three, the uh, supported members who support each other. Number four, they um, highly, the community members are highly participating in things they do in the community, and also the basic needs can be fulfilled. So number six, um, you can use, uh, you can gain all sorts of experience and uh, resource in many ways. And number seven, you can have uh, energetic, innovative, and diverse, it's, uh, diverse um, eco activities, economic related activities. And number eight, you can preserve uh, historical sites and respect uh, local culture. Number nine, you can have vision, vision, and you can um, promote a feature for your community, develop a special feature for yourself. Number nine, you can, um, sorry, number 10, you can have quality uh, health care system. And number 11, uh, the community members have good health condition. 然后这些这些啊，这是我们社区的一个导览图啊。我们社区里面呢有很多的景点啊，可以参观。That's oh, okay. a community um site my map for the whole uh the the resource we have. 啊，那是我们一个模型图，社社区的一个模型图。So we even have architecture draw the whole community out for us. 啊，这我们社区里面呢的一个人口，现在我们这里有有两千两百一十七户。So uh, all together we have two thousand two hundred and seventeen household。那人口大概有五千七百一十五。All together five thousand seven hundred and fifteen people. That's including um two thousand seven hundred and seventy three male, two thousand nine hundred forty two female. 这个健康指标我们营造这个这个整个简报要讲完了可能要一个钟头那我们大概就是讲一下哈那这个我带带回去然后你们去可以啊去去去啊我们从健康设计的营造开始这些都是我们的我们社区里面的那个银华小学堂
the most important sports events is this, so we can uh, get to uh, dance together and, and compete together and exercise together. So every single year, there will be more than thousands of people who come and participate. And, and we will have a, a long distance walk together. So the ladies, uh, they can all get to perform the specialties for us. So that's the garden we saw just now. So we have a garden and we have a garden and we have a garden and we will help you to promote healthy food and eat healthy food. So we will promote healthy food and eat healthy food and eat healthy food. Every week there is no food and no food. So we will help you to promote healthy food and eat healthy food. So, so uh, every single week we have a day, uh, we call it a vegetarian day, so we don't eat fish or meat. We are actually uh, just promote the vegetable we grow to keep everybody in a healthy state. So the, these uh, salad and the thing, every dish you see, they're all vegetarian dishes. So uh, these are the volunteer chefs who cook for all of us. So we also have visitors from England who visit us and, and took the idea and learned from the idea we propose. Uh,这个健康鼓励的一个幸福情况,就是我们社区里面的这些长照的这一些照顾,啊,对长者的服务,有共餐,共学,共幸福,啊,然后这个健康长者,我们乐龄活化,失能长者,啊,我们延缓退
，我们这个社区的老年人啊，现在有九百二十五个人，已经达到了。So altogether, we have 925 elderly people aged above 70, aged 75. 这个定义是六十五岁以上嘛？对，是。Okay, so, um, so altogether, 65 years old or above elderly people, we have 925 people, and altogether, uh, it's like 15.6 percent, and so. We know they're important, so we also want to raise uh, the public awareness towards the importance of their participation in activities we do. Uh, so the safety promotion is something that we care about as well. So the safety here in the concept is all is about the daily safety, like how to use electricity safely, how to eat safely, how to dress safely, uh, how to wear, uh, live in the place safely, how to travel safely, have fun safely, or uh, do recreational activities safely. 交交通安全啊，这个交通安全，还有云端的照护系统啊，所以、um, ，so the cloud um system on um on long term care other than to monitor the long term care um needs is uh one of the thing we do. So we have this uh caution system when when someone falls down, they have a um. Yeah, it can be notified to to the person who can provide help. Because it is a mechanism, or is it just a? Yes, there is a safety system. Okay, so it is on the shoulder. In the house. In the house. Okay, so there there will be a button for them to press. This emergency alert button. Okay, so there will be a button for them to press. This emergency call button can actually call help to someone who is able to help at that moment, and the patrol system will send a person to their house. 那我们就是就是啊，这个社区里面哈、啊，让这个幼儿哈、啊，引让引法组跟幼儿哈、啊，在充满快乐的啊的这个想象力的学习，然后互动，就带我们把老人带到那个幼稚园里面呢、啊，去跟幼稚园的小朋友啊一起来来来活动。啊、uh, ，We actually invite the elders to do exercise with the kids in the kindergarten, so they can interact um better and also. We, we will educate them at the same time, so uh, to prevent um, all sorts of type of accidents. So we will get these uh, elderly people to go to the nursery and teach those kids how to do the um, toys they used to do when they were young. So they, they, according to their own memories, when they were young, they would teach those kids how to make those toys. Um, 推动啊，终身学习的列车，让老人啊，在这个社，在来社区里面呢、啊，参与这一些学习活动啊，每一天的课程都不一样。So the the college for the uh elderly people, we have all types of activities for them. The language class. The DIY art, art crafts, arts and crafts class, and all type of things are open courses for all of them. Ah, 那时候这个里面呢有一些活动，就是运动啊，健康运动的这些活动啊，我们也办办理很多。So all types of activities we do that's helping them to keep them in a healthy state. We we will do them all. 那么这个。我们邀请到这些快乐幼儿园的这些小朋友啊，每周一天一般啊，来到社区活动中心，代代相传啊，来跟这些长者啊来做互动。So we will actually get、uh, the local kindergarten to send out one class、um, every single week to cook for the elderly and to serve the elderly, so they can have better interaction with each other. 这是他们来社区里面呢、啊
做一些哈、哦、美食，然后来提供给这些长者哈、哦、来享用，跟长者一起来示范。So the kids is going to cook for them and so to serve the elders. 就是我们在这个代间融合啊，一代一代之间哈的一个一个融合，就是让小朋友每一天，你像今天也有一般到十到他们也要跟他们做不同的这些活动，啊，让这长者他也可以看到孙子来的啊，他们在玩的时候哈会觉得很很快乐。So when they, when the uh elders seeing that the grandsons um are participating in the a community and actually helping and serving them, there's a They will be happier. That we train some In our communities, are some of them are from the kids in the community, the、uh, high school students, the, high, the senior high, junior high, and young、uh, people, and also college students to come and participate in the voluntary work of the community, and they will be trained by the, the local university, and they have a long-term care department. They will train them. And after they receive the training, every Saturday and Sunday during summer and winter vacation, they will come and provide help. And also,、uh, they will be certified by the、uh, voluntary hours. So these are the activities we do, and also we have、um, uh, tea time with the、uh, local hospitals,、uh, doctors and nurses. 然后这是配合台南市立医院啊，新中医院的一个 PGY 医师啊，来喝下午茶。然后 PGY 医师就是 PGY 就是那个社区医学训练的这医师， okay. 他们这医学后医学已经拿到了那个医医师的证明，然后他们还要在社区里面啊，啊，在社社区里面来做一个学习。OK， so so the intern doctors， 这些都是医生 ，from the local hospital， which is the the national hospital and also。Uh, sorry, the city hospital and also Xinlo, the new building hospital. That that's a Christian hospital, and the doctors, the intern doctors will actually come here and and help the elders and also have tea time with the elders. About、uh, once a week. And that that happens once a week. Yes. Thank you. Ah, then they will come to the hospital to train. Ah, this ah, PGY doctor. 啊，医学的小常识。Okay, and so besides uh tea time, they have and also they will uh lecture, have lectures on the um health knowledge related to health, and they will teach everyone for a few sessions. Quickly. 这个，这个啊，常有，这生命会就是让他们啊去做他们的回忆。的一个册子，啊，从他们，他们最有记忆的这一些，这一些啊，人事物，然后他们来做一本，啊，然后每一个人都会做一本，啊。So so this is an activity that the the department, the head of the department of the long term care department in the local university, ah,、uh, actually came and lead us to this um um sketch of your life booklet. Um. And so everyone gets to、uh, paint their own book、uh, to talk about the story, story of their life. Their own、yeah. life story. Their own life story. Yes. They're in the process. They're in the process. They're in the process. So this, this is. Story, yeah. So this is the process, and also this is another activity. And they have the this table, ah, community, community table of lessons. This is they really like. 就是他们可以训练他们的这个啊，手脑并用啊的一个课程。And also we know the Guinness Guinness record for cup folding, and so that that's an activity that's kind of famous now. So、uh, we also train the elders how to do the cup folding like the Guinness record people. 
，然后我们去做管束，然后到他们家里面啊去，对这些长者啊，弱势的长者啊，我们社区里面呢会去做定期的会去做管束。Okay, so and also we will visit the, the elders in the community. We not just ask them to come, also we will go to them and uh, the security patrol teams and also volunteer, volunteers and also um, uh, the director and some, some of the workers will visit these uh, households. Who, these um, elderly people who live alone or uh, who have lower income families and we will share those uh, uh, materials that we and uh, new resources we have. Some in COVID nineteen time, then the uh, shampoo and uh, bath gel will be more mostly needed. So we will share uh, with them. So these are things we share with them. So 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 the. All types of team, like drumming team and all types of uh, teams that we formed for the elders, they were always invited to all types of events, and they can be the intro, um, like like for for the event. So we always train them very frequently. So it is for Ukli. And the previous ones for drum, yeah, this one's for drumming, the, the drumming team. Uh, so uh, every two months or three months, we were on almost one season once, and we will take them around uh, with by bus and to travel. Every one of them will give them a backpack. They have to wear it so we can recognize and it will be safer. So the happy field trip they go, so we take pictures together. Ah,我现在没有，因为我们现在比普遍用云端的原因，是因为那个，那个，那个，随身带嘛。嗯，我现在没有，因为我们现在比普遍用云端的原因，是因为那个，会会会中毒，就是我们就怕怕弄到别人
it's here. Okay. I have to do this direct interpretation in front of you so you will know what I'm talking about. What year that was? Let me check. I forgot. Yeah, this was the original science project of elementary school. Yeah, in year mm, 2010, there was an amazing elementary school teacher um, guided the young kids in the elementary school to do a science project. And so after they did that science project, um, a lot of people were amazed because they tried to did experiment, <coughs> experiment on how to kill mosquitoes. And in a very hot place like Taiwan, of course, some of your country is hotter than Taiwan, but mosquito is really a big problem. You know, it's gonna spray disease, it's gonna cause sickness that and kills many people. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, is the in the previous statistic, uh, some people, um, the some scientists said that the most deadly thing on Earth is not a shark or, you know, the most dangerous, fierce shark or crocodile or anything. No, it's mosquitoes because they are everywhere and it's so hard to kill them. And also uh, they can have offspring so quickly. So killing mosquitoes is always a very important task. And finally, we have someone in the elementary school this decided to work on it and they succeeded. So that was amaz um, amazing to everyone. So this was the original thing when we saw it the first time in the year 2010. Um, sorry, my laptop is a bit slow, but anyway, um, it was from the uh, Yong'an Elementary School in Zhongshan District, Taipei. So there were the two teachers called Jia Zhang Xu and Wen Yi Chen and leaded three kids to observe this, the um, movement of mosquitoes. So they say they, they saw uh, an email that people spread around saying that ah, if you use soap powder with um, laundry powder, you can kill mosquitoes. So they think uh, they should do an experience, experiment on it. So they just want to prove whether if that works. And if it doesn't, if it works or it doesn't work, then it, are there other ways that really helps? So they say they want to prove it and see if the ways uh, spread on the internet was real or not. So they want to have some research topic like number one, can the soap water attract mosquitoes? And then the second topic, how can you attract more mosquitoes? And number three, if you have ways to create carbon dioxide, what other things can be helpful to catch more mosquitoes? And how do you use the result of research three to create a very useful mosquito catcher? And can it be designed to um, environmental friendly design? And then we can tell people how to make one. So they just did it. They used yeast to, to pour it on warm water, on, on with, with sugar and stir it. So it can create um, carbon dioxide. It gives it, um, heat by using uh, some kind of chemical pattern that produce heat. And so they, they try to detect how, how many mosquitoes you have. And they say with carbon dioxide, they got 12 mosquitoes. And with heat and carbon dioxide, you only got seven. If you have a 
this warm thing here, then the no non mosquitoes can be found. And then if you don't have anything, of course, non mosquitoes will be will remain. And then they try to you know put these containers near the wall and see what color can um, attract mosquitoes. And they find out the color black can track uh, 23 mosquitoes. And for other colors like blue, only 12, white, 11, red, 19, silver, 11, green, 11. So yes, black was the winner. So they want to know where if when they keep those attraction to the to in the basement can attract more mosquitoes. So when they put it by the corner, they can attract 98 mosquitoes. If they put it somewhere bright, it's 10. They put it somewhere with nothing, like, like for example, on the track, a running track, then none. It's somewhere higher, 10. Somewhere against the wall, nine. Somewhere uh, that's um, open space uh, by the corridor, 12. So they, they know by the corner is a lot. So they use different ways. So the, how can they attract? Sugar, zero. Sugar with yeast, one. Soda, one. Soap water with carbon dioxide, nine. I said, mm, okay, that works. So they use different ways and say, oh, that changing the shape. If we use a mosquito catcher and change the shape that uh, by a bottle or something like this, then with a hole on the this thing, it's they call it 18. Uh, mosquitoes. If they have a hole and a straw, then is sixty. They caught sixty-nine mosquitoes. So they thought that after this, some experience experiment, they found out the salt water and honey and carbon dioxide. They can catch one hundred seventy mosquitoes, and the percentage also like. How many percentage, like 10% uh, of something, then they got more. So after so many things they experienced in, in experiment, they, they later found out the best way to make a, a mosquito catcher is to make things in the, the, the ways they introduced at the end. Give me a second. It's a big file. So you know they are really using a scientific way to catch mosquitoes. So they won the first prize of the scientific uh, project. And they actually got the, the students to write some uh, homework and coursework. And these were grade six students. So that finding was shocking to everyone. And the final design was this. Um, they have black paper around a, a water bottle like this. And of course, you have to cut it and put it upside down. And then it has to um, put it like that. The upper part has to be upside down and then you have to wrap it with black paper and then here you has to be um, sugar with yeast so that is going to make some kind of um, smell to and attract mosquitoes so uh, so the mus the sugar water it has to be temperature like about about 40 degrees and then you add the yeast and then put it there after one week and then and put it by the corner of the basement and then they can catch a lot of mosquitoes. And so they know carbon dioxide is attracted to mosquitoes. So they use um, yeast and sugar and water and then it, this way they can last for 10 days and they can reuse it over and over. I think the soap water doesn't help catching mosquitoes. Um, they 
think it's helpful if you put something sticky on the wall of the uh, the the container inside of the container but later they found out it's after you catch the first mosquito then the second mosquito will not be will not stick onto it so you better not do anything put anything sticky on the side of the wall and i think uh, the mosquito likes black it likes corner they like to fly uh, um, along the wall it's attracted to carbon dioxide so that's the finding. So once they show this to the world, everybody was amazed and they say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna make, make this. So um, I believe because the news reporters say something about that. So a lot of communities, maybe they, they heard it, but not everyone considered that as something serious until uh, in Tainan previously, they got a serious disease and caused by mosquito and they they're starting to find ways and saying oh, we're going to do something about the mosquitoes then they found this and then they say okay let's make our own version so they too modify that idea and turn it into their own and then they had this mark one mark two mark three so i will have to say really if you want to solve a problem with our willingness and determining um, attitude, all things are possible. So do have this in mind, really. If you are willing, all things are possible. OK, so uh, that that's the part. Ouch. OK, so um, about the second question, any second question? Let me check. Um, Yes, so um, also the water system thing. Um, I, I'm 100% sure I saw it on the internet, but I forgot where it was. But however, for mosquito prevention technique, um, the first idea that came out, we saw it in Taiwan, was from the elementary school. I read in my elementary school's teachers. You know, they're, they're busy, they had to teach so many things, but they are willing to share um, to the kids and also involve them in the experiment. And later, it becomes something, a very uh, helpful information to every one of us. So I, I would say that's that's amazing. So um, if you're willing so, to solve a problem, I, I believe there will be ways, OK? Um, by the end of the course, I am going to share with you something I really like, but I'm not 100 percent sure if I can do it now. So let me um, show it to you first uh, and uh, try to show it to you. Now, um, today I want to show you about uh, one of the resource they have in Tainan called the Qimei Museum. OK, so Qimei Museum was amazing. And why was that? Because it's full of surprises uh, from the from this wealthy, rich person uh, called Mr. Lin. OK, uh, let me check if you can see what I'm looking at. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah? OK, so this is Qimei Museum. Uh, once again, my favorite Google Map. OK, so this is Qimei Museum. As you can see, it's next to the airport. So it's over here and it's very, very beautiful. So let's have a look. Okay. Whoa, what, why do they have? Okay, so is this building behind them? 
It's amazingly beautiful. And uh, um, I know you cannot be here because of COVID. But anyway, I'm going to give you the website of them and you can change the language to English. And then you can get to see information related to this museum. And one most amazing thing is this museum allows people to look at the museum, enter the museum online. OK, that is such a great thing. So um, they allow people to uh, enter the museum by the street view pictures. Yes, the street view in Google can now be used in uh, Qimei Museum. Why was that? Because they uh, allowed photographers to enter the museum and take pictures. So now you can now enter the museum like this. OK, so after you enter this website, you see this link. And then the most amazing thing is happening now that you can enter everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. For example, uh, in the level one, you have this normal people. If they want to enter that gate, they have to spend <coughs> Sorry, Mo, um, I think two, at least $220 NTD. And you have to reserve, uh, not a seat, uh, 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 how to say this? They have limits for the amount of tourists who wants to visit this place. You can only uh, visit this place with that amount of people. So if you cannot uh, register and, and enter within the limit, let's say if they allow 1,000 people per day, for example, I forgot the real number. If they only allow 1,000 people to enter the place, and now I'm taking all of you and in front of the place and saying, I want to buy the tickets for 124 people. I said, no, sorry, we only have 10 tickets left then I have no choice but just to buy the 10 tickets and allow 10 of you to enter the place and to see everything. So you know how amazing this is when they actually allow uh, photographers to enter and make a street view um, website so you can click this and visit this place with your laptop or your cell phone or your Computer. OK, so um, this um, museum, why is it called Qimei Museum? Qimei is a um, company like the Taiwan version of Sony, if you can think about it this way, um, <coughs> established by Mr. Wenlong Xu. And he was, well, he still is a very wealthy man. So he collected so many things and his personal collection is so large in number so up to a level he can make a museum and just put all these connections here for example the knives and guns you see over here he collected here uh, he collected these things and put it here on this on the exhibition and they are all real they're they're not um like models they are real so when I first entered this place, I was uh, um, surprised or frightened by the feeling of this place because I am 100% sure someone already used the katana or the knives to kill someone already. So there's some kind of spirit or something that's uh, that go along the knife, I guess. I don't know. All right, don't ask me why. I just had this crazy sixth sense. I don't feel comfortable when I enter this place because those are real knives, real armor, worn by real people. So this rich, this rich man's um, collection is all these things. So um, uh, there are a few things, of course, the arms and armor. Um, 
our collection and these. Yeah, the statue you can make out of animal skins, of course. And then, yes, they were real. Not now, but they were real. A real animal. So, um, this is one way you can make them mummies and you can enter this place. And I didn't feel that comfortable here either. So, you can now use these arrows to have a closer look at e things and uh, i'm not so sure if i gave you the link but yes i did so now um for the last six minutes feel free to visit this place and uh, i am if you don't have enough time to do this what i'm going to do is i am going to give you this link that i asked my 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 colleague to make this video. So with some cool music, so you can visit this place.